Okay, so we've done everything over here on the transmission side to prepare for our crankshaft change. We've got all the variator out, the clutch out. I'm working on, I'm in the middle of working on a, a up gear kit. There's the transmission case, or final drive case cover. And we've got pretty much everything done over on this side that we need to do so that we can separate the the uh, two halves of the crank case. So over here on the water pump side, now I've already got ahead of myself here but I'll show you what we did. First we disconnected the hoses from the cylinder coming to the water pump connection and removed those hoses and, and then we've loosened these five millimeter metric bolts and loosened the cover here see if I can spin this around and show you that. There's a cover here that just covers up some of the connections and hoses and wiring harness and whatnot. We've loosened that cover and swiveled that down on the oil hose. And I've loosened the cover to the water pump here. <clears throat> and that comes off. Set that aside. And then in order to get, and here we have the flywheel. Inside that is the stator. And in order to get the flywheel off, we needed a 22 and a half millimeter by one and a half millimeter pitch flywheel puller. And it's just simply a bolt hollowed out in the center to fit over the end of the crankshaft and we'll screw that into the flywheel like this. And normally these are a little tight. What I did was I just took a piece of one by two wood and just gave it a little whack on the end just to break the surface tension. And I already did that and I loosened it. it. Makes it easier to show you guys and grab a hold of your flywheel puller after you break the, the bond. And there's some magnets in here so it might be a little sticky yet, but grab a hold and pull the whole flywheel right off like that. Now you can take the puller out. I'm just gonna leave it in there for handling purposes. And underneath that you can see here we have the stator, which I've already loosened also. And what the flywheel does is it flies around in this direction here. And every time the magnets mounted in the edge of the flywheel over here, every time they come by these coils, it sends a charge to the spark plug. And that's where you get your timing. Every time it comes by, it sends a spark at the right time, and you get your spark, you get your uh, uh, explosion in the cylinder. So we've taken off. The water pump cover, we've taken off the flywheel with the flywheel puller. I've loosened, there's two five millimeter bolts in here. One's up here and one's down here. And that holds the stator in place, that's stationary. So we'll take this one out. We'll set that aside. And then we can take the stator out. Now there's a rubber, water, there's a rubber grommet right here on the wiring harness. And it goes and it fits into the crankcase half around the wire to create a seal. Uh, in order to move the stator out of the way I've taken and I've slid that down to give me some extra room here as we pull it out. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to take that all the way out. There's some connections here. It might be just easier to leave it on. And we'll just give it enough to set the stator out of the way while we work on getting the two crankcases separated and pulling the cylinder back off. This is just on here temporarily. So we'll take care of getting the cylinder and the piston and the connecting rod and we'll separate the halves and then we'll take out the crankshaft and put in the new crankshaft. So, but first I want to clean this all up around here. All right?